One, two, three. Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. So the date is Thursday, September 7th, 2017, and the current time is approximately 6.45 p.m. And I would like to shout out to Gothica, and I want to welcome all of you to my very second, as opposed to my very first, tarot tag. This one is hashtag SEPT for September, tarot tag. So I'm going to actually show you my notes, and I'm going to make sure that my awesome audiovisual person will uh, do a close-up. So that is the hashtag, SEPT, T-A-R-O-T-T-A-G. Yes, okay. So, I'm going to have a sip of some cafe con leche. You know, I live for my coffee. Mm. Oh, before I forget, I do recommend reading the accompanying blog post that will accompany this video. If you do not see it in the description box, click where it says read more or show more, and that will show you everything that I wrote in the description box. Okay, now we're ready. Let's go. Let's go to it. Question number one. Which tarot deck or tarot decks have you been using the most right now? Well, for me, I continue to use the Mythical Goddess Tarot, created by the late and great Sage Holloway, and illustrated by the current and great Catherine Skaggs, when the moon is waxing from new to full. And when the moon is waning from full to new, I use the Dark Goddess Tarot by Ellen Lorenzi Prince. I find that I tend to use this more for myself, um, although I have used these decks for clients' readings. Um, but when it's like, when I'm not using them with a client, I use them for myself again during those particular um, waxing, waning moon times. Now, the tarot deck that I'm currently using for daily draws is the Triple Goddess Tarot. This is a new Los Carabeo Llewellyn Worldwide publication, or relatively new, I should say, um, illustrated by Jamie Elford and artwork by Franco Rivoli. I've been enjoying this deck uh, more than I thought I would. Um, usually when I uh, use a goddess deck, I love to see different goddesses on them. Um, but this is more... Um, my, my experience of this deck is that it is more um, along the lines of witches who are acknowledging themselves as divine daughters of the goddess. And um, I love that it is depicting women in the different stages of womanhood. Maidens, mothers, and crones. Okay, so that's the one that I'm using for daily draws right now. And I'll be using it for daily draws until the night of the dark moon which would be Thursday, excuse me, Tuesday, September 19th, 2017. Okay. Number two, which tarot card or tarot cards represent your life the most at this time? This is the question you might want to like set cards in advance. And that's exactly what I did. So, from the Triple Goddess Tarot, the High Priestess, because she represents my celestial mother, Oset, the ancient Egyptian goddess more commonly known as Isis. And for me, I feel like my soul is the high priestess. Even though my personal psychic advisor, Roger Pratt, said to me that when people interact with me, especially as a psychic, they will see the high priest, the high priest or the hierophant. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, since um, I have my very first online upcoming Divine Prosperity event, so Fortune and Fortuna has been on my mind. Nine of Swords, because my sleep cycles are well out of whack. And I am sleeping, um, but there are times when I need to be doing things as opposed to sleeping. The Queen of Cups, because right now Yamaya has been on my mind a lot. And even though the face and the face looks more like Oya. Um, for me, the Queen of Cups is absolutely oh yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I love how in this tarot deck, um, the kings depict women of power, um, and this is the King of Cups, which is the card of the psychic, 
it's the male counterpart to the high priestess. And it's ironic, I did check the symbols. It is the king of cups. This is the queen of cups, because if you, uh, uh, hold on. I'm gonna have my awesome audiovisual person do another close up. So if you look at the bottom where my ring fingers are, you'll notice one crown. Now the crown on my left hand, well, it'll be the left side of the screen for you, will be um, the queen of cups, so this one. And um, this one is the king of cups. So if you could do a close up of the crowns at the bottom where my ring fingers are, I would appreciate it. Or to the best of your ability. Yeah. So, um, so Queen of Cups because yeah, 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 and King of Cups because this is the card of the psychic. And um, I know that I'm conducting a private reading on Saturday. It'll be my very second, as opposed to my very first Skype reading. Very excited about that. Four of Cups because, you know, I've had a lot on my mind. I've had a lot on my heart. Not bad. Nothing bad. It's just like I've been, there's been a lot going on in my mind, a lot going on in my heart. And, and I mean my energetic heart, my emotional heart. Um, there are a lot of people that are going through tough times right now and, and um, they've been on my mind a lot. So, yeah. Um, the Nine of Pentacles, because I looked at this card and I immediately thought of Oshun. The woman is wearing a gown in an Oshun color. Um, the peacock is one of Oshun's sacred animals or animal familiars. And tomorrow, being Friday, September 8th, is one of her festival dates, especially in her Catholic Christian avatar guise as La Virgen de la Caridad del Cobre, which, say it a little slower, La Virgen de la Caridad del Cobre, which in English means the Virgin of Charity of Copper. In, in Cuba, there is a copper mining town called Cobre. Cobre is also the Spanish word for copper. Copper is not only sacred to Oshun, but it is also sacred to um, one of her uh, similar attribute, attributed goddesses, Aphrodite. And in magical traditions, the planet Venus is metal, uh, metallurgically, I think that's the right word, metallurgically affiliated with copper. Uh, seven of Pentacles, because I need to have five minimum participants for my very first online Divine Prosperity event. And if I have seven, that would be even better. Um, this is the Temperance card. And you know, there have been times when, no, I'm sorry, this is the moon card. It's Trump 16. Yes, it's the moon card. Black Cat Lovers Unite, uh, or rather hashtag Black, card, Black Cat Lovers Unite. Um, but also, um, you know, one of the challenges that I'm, I've been facing lately is, is going past illusion and seeing the illumination behind it. And being reminded that I am divinely and spectacularly and profoundly loved. So those are, how many cards is that? I think that's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. So those are the ten cards of the 78 cards of the, God, the Triple Goddess Tarot that have been most representative of my life to, lately. Okay. Question number three. Is there a tarot deck that you want very much but do not have at the present time? If I want to keep this video under 20 minutes, <laughs> I am going to um, refrain from answering that question completely. What I will say, um, you know, it's funny, I actually would love, um, and it, it's, it's, it's funny because, you know, one of the things that I love about, well, let me, let me, you know, I'm not sure how to answer that question. So you know what, this video might be a little more than 20 minutes and I apologize for that inconvenience. Um, but generally speaking, I will say that, um, and I don't remember the exact titling of this particular deck, but I remember, I've seen it on several of Two Spirits videos and it is a special edition of the Rider Waite Smith. It has this um, white flower and 
Tiffany style blue back of the car design or backing. And that particular Rider Waite Smith deck intrigues me. I would enjoy having that. And I must admit, I am, you know, I, I know that a lot of people have become quite enamored of tarot decks and tins. And I find that the tarot decks and tins seem a little too small for me. But I think it would be good for me to have at least one tarot deck and a tin. Um, and if the universal weight comes in a, in a miniature sized tin, then I would happily have that. Okay. Question number four. Do you have any rituals regarding your tarot decks? Well, I have a few actually. Um, one of my personal one of my personal favorite rituals when I acquire a new tarot deck or any deck of cards, whether it's an oracle card deck, a divination deck, is I sleep with it under my pillows for three to seven nights. And sometimes I'll do it longer than that. Sometimes I've actually done an entire moon, meaning from a new moon to the next new moon, from a full moon to a next full moon, from um, a waxing crescent to the next waxing crescent. Sometimes I've done two moons in a row. Um, so it depends on, on what it is, but that's definitely one of my personal favorite um, rituals with regards to um, with regards to tarot decks and, and really card decks in general, but specifically with tarot decks, I do that um, religiously. I do that with every tarot deck that I purchase. Um, one thing that has been on my mind a little bit lately, not a whole lot, but a little bit, is resuming the practice of engaging in tarot spells. And I have a few books on the subject. My personal favorite remains uh, Tarot Spells by Janina Renee. I don't even know if that book is still in print. It was published by Llewellyn more than 10 years ago. I love that it used the Robin Wood Tarot by Robin Wood, which is another one of my personal favorite tarot decks, by the way. And I will say that um, other than the Robin Wood Tarot, uh, the Celtic Dragon Tarot by DJ Conwell, by DJ Conway, illustrated by the Lisa Hunt, um, is one of my personal favorite tarot decks for tarot spells. I, um, I always found it intriguing that I was drawn to this deck. Because number one, at the time that the Celtic Dragon Tarot was first published, um, the Celtic pantheons, and specifically the Irish and the Welsh pantheons became more important to me. Um, there was a time when Celtic anything was just like, whatever, you know? And it was, and I don't mean to say that it, disrespectfully, I mean to say that with complete honesty. I know that a lot of witches um, and a lot of Wiccans and a lot of pagans have a greater affinity overall with Celtic pantheons. And of course, the, um, the original name of every Wiccan Holy Day, every Witch's Holy Day is in usually Irish Gaelic or Gaelic Irish. I forgot if it's Irish Gaelic or Gaelic Irish. I think it's Irish Gaelic, but I digress. So, you know, I know that those pantheons are important to witches as a whole, but it's just one of those things that it's like, it, it's become more important to me. Nonetheless, I, I will say that the Celtic Dragon Tarot and the Robin Wood Tarot definitely um, have become my personal favorite go-to tarot decks for spells. I definitely need to create um, a physical space for tarot spells. I feel like it needs to be a physical space. I feel like I'm not ready to uh, engage in tarot spell work again yet, but soon. Now, um, aside from divination, do you use the tarot in any other way? Well, um, I do use the, hmm, I'm trying to think of how to best say this. So, a few different ways is the short answer. The longer answer is number one, I love engaging in a, di a, in a divine dialogue with the figures on the tarot cards. 
Uh, and I usually engage in, a, in a, a prayer session first, not a prayer session, but I engage in a very deep and profound and powerful prayer first, and then I begin meditating. And the meditation, I am looking at the card. So let's say, for example, I wanted to do a meditation with the High Priestess card from the Triple Goddess Tarot. So I would have prayed first, I would have spiritually cleansed myself before that, then I will have prayed, then I would engage in a meditation, and my Reiki master teacher taught me to inhale through my mouth and exhale through my nose when I meditate, because this activates and strengthens and fires up the chakras, which are the energy centers of the body or as one of my favorite goddess authors calls them, the goddess gates. And then I would look at the tarot card, and my intention would be to impress upon my mind's eye this image. And once I was secure in the knowledge that I could easily see this card in my mind with my eyes closed, then I would close my eyes, and then I would continue the meditation, and then I would engage in, um, I'm sorry, I saw my also audiovisual person doing something and I didn't know what he was doing. Okay. Hold on. Are you okay? You sure? Are you sure? I got that, but are you sure? Okay. He's okay. Okay. Um, so once I can see it in my mind's eye, that's when I close my eyes and I continue to visualize the card and then I step into the card and then in the case of the high priestess I would have a conversation with her and I would ask her questions or I would you know given the nature of the high priestess I'd probably be meditating and praying with her for a long ass time and then she would say something and then I'd be like okay good thank you and I have to be very okay with that like this is what she's giving me and I need to be okay with that and that's that so that's how um, so I call them divine dialogues and because I love alliteration and every once in a while I will engage in the practice that I learned from Ralph Bloom in his book of runes and that is I will say the issue is this and then I will have already shuffled the deck I'll fan out the cards I'll close my eyes and then I will feel around with my left hand the receptive hand um, a few inches above um, the cards and then whichever one I feel the energetic pull that's the one that I would pull. And that card would essentially answer the question, the issue is this. And then the issue being this. The issue being that. And then I would read what the card is, and I would commune with it, and then I would receive that. Okay. Now, question number six. Create your own question and answer it. This last question is only for you, meaning that every person who creates a video reply, or VR for short, for hashtag sept tarot tag needs to come up with their own question for number six and answer it as well. So let's say, for example, the question that I'm going to come up with for question number six, that's my question for myself, I'm going to answer it for myself. If let's say Two Spirit does this uh, sept, hashtag sept tarot tag. He's going to create his own question for question number six, then he's going to answer it. And let's say um, Jennifer Ball Spiritual Garage does a VR, video reply for short, for sept, for hashtag sept tarot tag. She's going to come up with question number six for herself and answer it for herself. These question number sixes are going to be individual, meaning that it's not going to be the same from me to two spirit to from two spirit to Jennifer Ball spiritual garage from her to somebody else etc it will be your own exclusive question so with that being said my question for my question number 6 for myself which i will happily answer is what do i want to see in the tarot 
And you know, one thing that I want to see with the tarot is a great... I'm thinking of the right word, but I'm going to say I want to see a greater reverence for the tarot. I want to see, um, and, I, and I know that the tarot has become more mainstream, but I don't know if the tarot has become more revered or more respected. I don't know that. I, I think so, but personally I would like to see more honor and more respect towards the tarot as a whole. And yes, I would include people who read tarot professionally in that category, you know. Um, I'd be a fool not to. So that's my own question for question number six, which I've answered. Um, now, a couple of things. So, um, a very quick updates. I am very excited and very happy about the fact that um, so far two people have already registered for my upcoming very first online Divine Prosperity event. Very excited about that. At 9 p.m. tonight, which is in a little less than two hours, I'm going to have a telephone call with my mentor about this. Very excited about that. And um, I am also creating, uh, I've also created rather, a, a, an oracle card tag for um, September, which will be hashtag SEPT Oracle Tag. So hashtag SEPT Oracle Tag. That will be another video, um, which we're coming to you soon. I want to thank all of you for honoring who I am and what I do. If you have not already subscribed to the YouTube channel of yours truly, Robert Alvarez, The Psychic Witch, I invite you to do so. And if you have not already scheduled your reading with me, um, do it as soon as you can because, yeah, this is officially the busiest time of the year for me. So, yes. And at this point, um, I just, I still find it bizarre that I have no appointments in November. I, I know I've said that in a lot of my videos, but yeah, it's like, yeah. Okay. And there you have it. I wish all of you many blessings, many gifts, and many miracles.